Kia ora, Year 12 and 13. This is the first part of Question 1 of the 2016 Integration Paper. So it's got two Achieve Questions and a Merit Question. This should be pretty quick. Alright, um, we need to integrate this. So we're looking at this thing here and we see a quotient. We've got just one thing in the denominator, so we're going to split that up. We get 2x to the power of 4 over x cubed is just 2x minus x squared over x cubed, I'm going to leave it in this form, 1 over x dx. Of course you could write that as minus x to the negative 1. The reason I've left it like that is I want you to recognise that the antiderivative of this is the natural log function. So this antiderentiates to x squared minus the natural log of x plus C, and they very nicely tell you not to forget that. Okay, so that's a U question. Um, right, we'll go on to the next one. Okay, this is a trig antiderivative, and we know that sec tan comes from sec. Okay, so you can go and check that on your um, formula sheet. So we can go straight here to a backwards chain rule one. Let's have a look. So we're going to try this. If we anti-differentiate to sec of 3x, so look at sec of 3x and think, if I differentiate this, what will I get? Well, by the chain rule, I'll get 3 sec of 3x, tan of 3x, and I don't want three of them, I just want one. So I need to do this, times one third plus c. So that's that one done. Now we'll get on to the merit question, which is a little differential equations problem. Alright, so we've got um, a dE, dy by dx, is equal to cos of x over 3y. That's where we're starting with. Then we're given a piece of information about a pair of x and y values. That's good, that's going to let me pin down the constant. And then I'm asked to find a value of y when x is equal to 7 pi on 6. So my first step is to figure out a relationship between x and y. So we're going to use the method of separating the variables. So we treat the dy by dx as a fraction. So we get 3y dy is equal to cos of x times dx. Now we integrate both sides. Right, so we're treating the integration as an operation like we do adding to both sides or dividing by, by both sides. So anti-differentiating on the left hand side we'll get 3 over 2 y squared equals, well what would give me cos of x? Let's have a think. So sine of x would. Now you'll notice that I didn't write the plus c here, but I'm going to put a plus c here. We can think about the constant as just an arbitrary number that's going to make the relationship true. So yes, I could have a plus a c1 here and plus a c2 here, but I can just add them together and have them in one place, and that's much simpler. So that's why, we, that's the short version why, we don't need to have that plus c, so we get rid of that. We could have done the plus c on either side, I've just put it with the sine of x. Okay. So what have I got now? Well, I've got enough information with this that I can substitute in this information here. We know that when x is pi on 6, y is 1. So 3 over 2 times 1 squared is equal to sine of pi on 6 plus c. So sine of pi on 6 is pi on 6, 30 degrees, is just 1 half. So what does that give us? Well, 3 over 2 is equal to 1 half plus c, so c equals 1. I'm going to take a new slide to finish this one off. Right, so we've got to here, we've got 3 over 2 y squared is equal to sine of x, plus c, and from the work we did on the last page, we know that c is equal to 1. So 3 over 2 y squared is equal to sine of x plus 1. And now we do the last thing. We're asked to figure out the value of y 
when x is equal to 7 pi on 6. What's y? So we don't get a relationship here for y equals. We could do, but it would be much more work than what we need. Instead, we'll work directly with this. So let's work out sine of 7 pi on 6. So sine of 7 pi on 6. Now, you don't need to do this, but if you're confident with trig, you're going to use the symmetry of the graph. So there's pi on 6, right? We know that that's 1 half. Here's 7 pi on 6 out here. So that's equal to negative 1 half by symmetry. Now you could get that on your calculator, but it's nice if you don't have to. So 3 over 2 y squared is equal to negative 1 half plus 1. 3 over 2 y squared is equal to 1 half. Moving over here, that gives me y squared is equal to 1 third, right, because I can times both sides through by 2. So that gives me two values of y. y is equal to the square root of 1 third, or negative square root of 1 third, which we write more beautifully as 1 over root 3, or negative 1 over root 3. So that's a perfectly good final answer, or you could do um, plus or minus 0.577. Okay, so if you get the whole way through, then you get down to, you get an R code for all of that. Um, now they actually accepted just the positive solution here, which I think is pretty generous. Um, you really need both. There are two solutions to that equation. So what that's saying is that if x is 7 pi on 6, there are two y values that fit this relationship. Okay, and if you got as far as integrating, then you got a U code for that. Alright, hope that helped. I'll have some more videos up soon.